Hello, I'm at setting up for DEF CON on the Friday night before. I've got Hulkbuster down here. There's a few other things arriving. There's some Daleks over here. And as usual, I'm exhibiting with So Make It, the Southampton Makerspace. If you'd like to see more of this event, then look in the So Make It YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description to the full vlog and a card in this video to that video. This video you're watching is just going to be the highlights of Hulkbuster at the show. <laughs> right, it's the next morning. There's quite a big queue waiting to come in. Doors are going to open shortly, so we're all set up with all of the 3D printers. Our Dalek is almost functional. And all the other things are ready. Going skiing, James? Yes. Snowboarding? Snowboarding. We're good? No. Right. Ready to go in? I'm ready for the first actual proper test ever. I don't know what's going to happen. I think he's in. Lost a bit of shoe. <laughs> How you doing in there, James? You all right? Heavier than I thought it was. <laughs> I'm glad there's an audience. Oh yeah, definitely an audience. Seems to have tired. How was that? Huh? How was it? Uh, extremely awkward. Awkward? Yeah, I think we need a leg redesign. <laughs> you seem to be shedding a few bits. Yeah. Wow. There we go. I forgot to like. fix the toes on. Well, well look good. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right. Wicked. Hello. <laughs> I've just got back from DEF CON, it's Sunday night, and thanks to everyone who travelled to come and see me trying to walk in a giant Hulkbuster suit. The rest of the video about the event is in the So Make It YouTube channel, have a look at the link in the description to this video. But the rest of this video is going to be talking about what happens when I try to walk in the suit. So I'm going to give myself 2 out of 10 for building a suit that you can walk in, and 10 out of 10 for really trying. So apart from the bits of conduit that fell off, and obviously I forgot to fix the toes on, which I was going to remove before trying, but I got far too excited, um, pretty much I had a feeling it was going to be quite tricky to move in. Uh, the last time I actually tested the suit was uh, this clip, which is back in part 5, I think, of the build, when I had none of the panels on, and actually it was really easy to walk in. So um, uh, you can see there I'm having to shift my weight side to side to actually take steps, but it's fairly articulated. And um, in fact, I was expecting that was going to be the case now. And I hadn't been able to test the suit until DEF CON because I haven't got enough space in the house to make those swings side to side with all the panels and the arms on. So in the video, I said it was a bit heavier than I was expecting. 
Um, I pretty much knew how heavy it was because I had lifted it before. Um, the main issue was shifting my weight side to side in the legs. So the actual torso of the suit um, isn't too heavy. I can jump around and do all sorts of things. Um, I can, uh, you know, walk fairly normally in it with my normal legs. So uh, probably I'd have been better off if I just had blocks on my feet. I'm only 30 centimeters off the ground on the stilts anyway. And I just walked with really flat feet. I probably could have walked quite well. My issue, of course, is that I need to lock all the joints so the suit stands there on its own. Uh, but the weight itself isn't too excessive. My issue was really shifting enough weight to one side to take my leg off the ground to actually take a step, which you can see me trying to do um, and feeling like it was probably going to be quite dangerous. So let's just recap what I've said in uh, fairly recent videos about the knee joints. I've got this knee that bends here and I've also got this toe which uh, bends on a kind of fake toe that's actually below my foot. And um, that's what I was using in that bit of test footage there without the rest of the frame and the body on to walk along. I just didn't really have the confidence to take a leap of faith to pivot over on this point with um, that bit of extra weight on top of me. And it's extremely difficult to actually shift my weight onto one leg sideways because these have uh, no way to really articulate this way. So I think my plan is going to be to make a significant modification around the ankle so that in fact I get my actual real ankle flexibility back instead of this fake toe uh, which takes quite a leap of faith to put the mass over to pivot over on. I'd just like to say also that I, yes I have seen the 10 foot tall Hulk Buster that was at New York Comic Con that's really easy to walk in. Thanks to everyone who sent that link in. I won't say thank you 157 times but I have seen quite a lot of clips of that footage. Um, I've also seen plasterers drywall stilts which people have suggested in the past which are those sort of work stilts you get for plastering ceilings and so on. They don't have any knee motion in them though. They have basically normally a thigh clip so you walk on straight legs although they would be good, um, you know, for other costumes, perhaps Groot or something, you could get away with it. I also really need the knee motion and I need to be to lock all those joints to leave the suit standing there. So I don't know if that's actually the case for the uh, New York Comic Con Hulkbuster either or not, but there we go. So um, the plan is to try and spend the next two episodes modifying the ankles or at least the leg mechanism here in this suit. I'm not going to scrap the legs and throw them away and start again. I am going to try and modify them. All of the cosmetics unscrew on their 3D printed frames so I can get back to the wood, cut those ankles and put some extra joints in. And I'm going to dedicate at least two episodes hopefully to getting that sorted and being able to walk in it properly, including doing some proper testing in a place where I can actually walk in it. And hopefully I won't need to lean as much side to side once I can actually shift my legs side to side like a normal person walking. So I may even be able to test it in the house. So if you'd like to see me continuing with this build, despite the bit of a failure, shall we say, at DEF CON, then make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and also comment that you'd like to see me finish it. I do have other projects coming up, and I'd still like to make this a priority. If you'd like to see me burn the whole suit in a fire, it is uh, bonfire night in the UK soon, Guy Fawkes and all that. Um, that's another option, so if you think it's such a failure it should be burnt on November the 5th, then make sure you comment with This suit's on fire in the comment box for this video and also give it a thumbs up so I know that you're so enthusiastic about that. Alright, so that's the end of this video. There is going to be more coming, hopefully, unless I have to burn it. And there are more projects coming up, so don't forget to check out my channel for those. And if this is the first video you've seen of Hulkbuster, there's 42 parts of me building it so far, so don't forget to check those out. Okay, that's all for now. Gangnam Style. Extra.